Okay, so uh, my laser printer, my laser etcher, uh, burned out its first uh, uh, laser. We had got it in its second hand, so I can't say for sure what the case was there, but I know that you got to replace them every now and then. So we ordered a replacement laser, and I have no idea really how to do this. I mean, I watched a YouTube video and everything like that, but I thought I'd just kind of take you along with me on the journey to discovering how to replace this laser. Uh, I know safe first start is... Go ahead and take that off. There we go. Next, I know that there's a spot. We we're going to want to trace this wire. Yeah, it looks like it goes back here, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. And this, uh, this Allen wrench here came with the uh, etcher, the engraver. And it is specifically for this, for doing adjustments as needed. Okay, looks like this one here, based on what it says right there, looks like this one here is the laser. Now let's notice that the red is on that side and the black is on this side. Oh, actually, I think it clips in very specifically. I'm going to go ahead and give that a pull. The next part I've got to do is get up under here, and there's two more of these screws might just be able to loosen it and not take them all the way out let's get this camera down here and show you guys looks like it's clipped in in a spot okay so I am gonna have to take this top part off the video I watched on how to do this was n not very detailed on the how to take it apart. It was really just what kind of laser and, uh, and how to put it in. Okay, so, so far so good. We got this and I'm just going to pull that right on out. Okay. So this laser is no more. And I'm going to put this over here. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our new laser. Still in its package. Keep that open. Yeah. yeah we can do that. Okay. Hold it about there, and we're going to tighten this back up. Just snug, not so tight that it breaks anything. Cool. That's nice and snug in there. Going to turn this around again, just kind of letting that stuff flop around the way it is. Okay, and there we go. That should all be in working order, and now I've got to put everything back the way I found it. The next step, the next step here is to reach up under here. I need to reach in through here. And we're going to refine the tip of that laser down to its finest point. Okay. Oops. Okay, so now that laser is down to a fine point. Now, I, uh, I chose a piece of wood that my last laser would not burn into whenever it started burning out, because I thought that this would be a good way to test if the new laser works properly. So now we're going to go into this program that uh, came with the thing. We're going to go over to here. And I have a file here. Okay. So I have a file here with things that I uh, wanted to print out. 
and I'm going to go ahead and drag a picture in here. That is the beautiful Heather. And let's see how that works out. The way this ends up working is I press this button. And over here it shows where it's going to be on the on the piece. And then we click stop. Okay, that recenters it. Now here I'm going to go and adjust the time to make sure, okay, right here it says 29 minutes. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave it at the size it is, and we're going to see how this prints. Uh, let's go ahead and click start. Okay, and while we wait for that to uh, to do what it's doing, and we'll come check back in with it in a, in a few minutes, I thought I'd just go ahead and uh, do some shout outs. I have a thing going on right now where I've said that if you make it so that I can see, or so that your uh, subscriptions are visible, so that it gives me a notification, and then you subscribe to me, and that way I can see that you have subscribed to me, I will give you a shout out in my next video. This was for 10 people, and there are still five spots left, and you can still do this. If you, uh, if you subscribe uh, to me, and I can see that you've subs subscribed to me, I'll go check out your channel, I'll view some of your videos, I'll give you a like, uh, I might share a couple of your videos, maybe, and uh, I will do a shout out for you in my next upcoming video. But so far since my last video, I've had three more, so let's go ahead and, uh, and get into this. Uh, first one was Stuff You Can Make. Uh, I'll post links to these in the description. This one, uh, I actually, he, he clicked on me because of my last uh, wood etching video, not with the printer, but with the, by, by hand. And uh, he said he really liked my stuff, and I went and checked out some of his, and that's a real honor, because I went and looked at this guy's stuff. This is a real crafter. This is somebody that you uh, you should go check out, and it's, it's some amazing stuff. Uh, this next one seems to be a, a young one. He's a, he's a gamer, and I think he, it's, it's fun to see... Uh, see new youtubers coming out uh and and little young ones and stuff like that and so we should we should give him some support and uh go check out his channel uh see you know see what he's about uh the next one is actually uh somebody that i came across by the uh suggestion of deception and if you're not sure who deception is i'll post her uh link in the description as well. You should go check her out. She's getting more and more subscribers all the time. She's growing like crazy, and uh, and I'm really happy that uh, we're in communication, and I'm kind of uh, being part of that and getting to watch that happen. That, this is really cool. But she told me, or she told uh, everybody on Twitter to go check out one called Armstrong on the Daily. And uh, so I went and checked it out, and I thought it was worth a subscription, so I gave her a subscription, and she pretty much immediately subscribed back to me. And having her notification on, it put her on my list, but you should go check out her stuff, because like I said, I thought that she was worth subscribing to. You might as well. Uh, again, I'll put all the links to that in the description, uh, and now let's go check in on this. <laughs> Now immediately I am smelling that, I am seeing lines being carved, this laser is working much more, much better than, uh, than the original laser. That is excellent news. That is doing an excellent job. I'm very excited to see that this laser is working just fine. So it looks like the, the image is a little bit off center, and uh, I don't think it can get much larger than I've got it set to. Uh, so I don't think it'll, uh, you know, it'd be cool if it would, like, fill up this circle or whatever. But the, uh, the test is going really, really well, and apparently this laser really does work, and also apparently that other laser that I got, 
I'm going to say that, yeah, it wasn't my fault. I'm going to say it came burned out because it would have never done this. Uh, the first few tries I, I tried to uh, burn anything with it were shoddy, and then after that it just kind of stopped burning anything altogether. So, uh, luckily I did get a partial refund, and we used that to uh, buy the new laser. Okay, so here it is. Uh, that's the final product. Let's go over to the camera. There it is. And like I said before, it's a little off-center and it's not very big in the middle of this, but uh, this material would not burn at all with the previous laser before I even knew that the laser was uh, going bad. I had noted that it wouldn't burn into this. So that was a good first test and it seems to be going well and now I've got this and it's pretty. <laughs> it's a lovely way to treat it. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Be sure and check out my other channel, Dark Steel Unmasked, uh, and my Patreon, uh, which is patreon.com slash bladesbydarksteel. Um, I'm really looking for support on all three of those, this channel, that channel, and, uh, and my Patreon. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.